Hello to all members of the Prime ecosystem. In this tutorial, I would like to demonstrate how you can extend the default theming of the Prime UI libraries. I'm going to use Prime View as an example to add your own design tokens. So this is an interesting idea because although the core provides numerous design tokens for you, at some point you might be interested in adding your own tokens or adding your own custom CSS where you utilize those tokens. So um, I'll be showing, I'll be using this tutorial that we'll, we have been using for the styled tutorials. The idea is that, you know, to, the, to get back to it, you know, it was a regular application where we had an input field, there's a button and toggle dark mode. So prime buttons do not have accent buttons. They have primary, secondary, um, warning, help, info, danger, and numerous variants. Um, in this one, I will try to add an accent severity so that um, it's because it's a nice, I think it's a nice example to uh, demonstrate how we can extend it. So there's a new tutorial uh, called Extend. Let me find it. Yeah. The theming system can be extended by adding custom design tokens and additional styles. To do that, we need to use the CSS property and also um, the extend keyword in design tokens. Let's go to our preset, which actually customizes the primary colors, the paddings of the form fields, and uh, hover border colors for dark mode, light mode, and uh, specific colors for the dark mode. So here what we can do is that we can add, first let's add this one, severed accent, yeah, here. You know, it doesn't do anything. But if I do, for example, um, danger. Now, you know, these are the default ones, but there's no accent. There's secondary, which is like usually gray. Uh, but if you say that your design system, your corporate colors have an accent. And let's try this one. Okay. Here I can get the DT function allows me to access the design tokens. And here I can just write, of course, you need to go to the documentation of the button to see which classes that you might need. And in that case, that would be P button accent. We are going to customize the background Let's make it orange. Uh, we can do border color, maybe. Border color. And the color. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, now once you add the CSS property, it will in be included by the preset to the core. And yeah, it works. But you know, we also need to add the hover colors and um, visit the active colors, which uh, I leave out for the simplicity of the tutorial. Now let's try to use um, tokens. Here we can use the components. Now we have the semantic, we have the primitive, but it's not utilized here. Let's add a component token called for the buttons. And I'm going to use the extend keyword. And let's call this accent. Okay, background, orange, border color, orange, color, white. Now let's use this one. Okay, the component name, button, accent. You know, you, we need to omit this extent. It's just for the for semantic purpose so that you can realize that when you look at the code, it's, a, it's your own token, not from the core. We, we have made that decision to help you separate which one is extension, which one is not. But you don't need to use something like this extent. Although 
uh, it could have been possible we decided not to and accents background right accent background accent border color you know the camel cases become dot separated syntax and color okay cool now let's make it i don't know uh, another color uh, and you know we, we can you can also use other tokens here uh, the, from the primitive set let's make it um pink pink 500 you know if you if, if you're a designer that you they provide you a list of colors to choose from you can use your own palette here or you can use hard-coded colors and uh, this one's this uh, approach is quite good because um, we have um, used this approach to bring the material colors material theme for example if you have a lot of extensions you might end up with a uh, you know more lines here for a lot of css so this can easily be managed by um, dividing this into separate files if you'd like to manage so that if you have your own if suppose that you're implementing your design system and you'd like to have different uh, extensions and this is how we did the material theme actually let me show you okay so this is the repository of the prime view and let's check out the packages prime view themes the material should be here somewhere the presets okay so let if we check out the let's say material slider or met, let's say material slider which is a different style now if we investigate index here you know there is um there's not external design extended design tokens but there's a css property here so that um, you can include this css as part of your component um, setting so that you can you don't need to merge everything and it, this is way easier to do it here all right that's it from me um, let's see um, in this video i tried to demonstrate how you can easily extend the default design tokens how you can bring your own css to utilize that and so this is a nice extension for so that you're not bound to the default tokens okay see you on the next tutorial thank you